What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing a comparison. And specifically, we're going to be doing a comparison between the Baja Design Squadrons, um, the SAE, and the Sport. Um, if you guys know Baja Designs, you guys know that they have just came out with an SAE version, which is a street legal version. Um, a lot of people have asked me to make a comparison video between the two. Um, but really, if you do want a street legal version, the SAE is the only one that you can use on road. The Sport is strictly off road use only. And then, of course, there is the Pro as well, but that one is, um, I think, more than twice the lumen output as the Sport. So that one is definitely not street legal. So in this video, we are going to be showing you the difference between the two. Um, we're going to show you a footage that we did um, driving through a, a small s snowstorm here we had in uh, Colorado. And then we're actually going to open both of them. We're going to show you guys the internals, what makes the SAE street legal. And then, uh, yeah. All right, so now we are in the back of my Tacoma. We are going to be showing you guys a side-by-side -side comparison. So we got here, this is the Squadron sport and this here is the squadron sae um, as you can tell right off the bat the lens color is slightly different and inside the squadron um, it looks almost like chrome and then over here it looks like there's little tiny rectangles and it's almost black instead of looking chrome so we are going to crack these guys open and show you guys what they look like on the inside and then what makes the SAE version uh, street legal. And I also want to mention there is different lenses for these. So if you guys want it more of a driving um, style light instead of a fog light, this is a great um, replacement lens for it. Um, but this is for the squadron only. You cannot use that one with the SAE version because this lens and the way they have it configured is the only way that this is street legal. So this is normally what I run on my um, off-road lights on my regular squadron or uh, sport or pro. Um, but this is called a uh, driving combo lens and then this is a wide lens as you can see the line is all the way through all four leds where this one the top is a spot um, where there's no lens or there's no lines to diffract um, the lights uh, sideways or up and down or wherever um, but on the bottom there are so that's what makes this different but that's a whole different thing. Uh, we are gonna crack these guys open real quick. I'm gonna get an Allen wrench and just pop these open and then show you guys what they look like on the inside. All right, guys, so we got these things um, loosened all the way. I'm gonna pop those off. And then we are left with the lenses and of course, the other lens. Um, so we're gonna take these off. So there's the normal sport. And this is the uh, SAE version. So when you have them off, I want to show you guys. They are exactly the same lens. So the color is not different from side to side. So here's what I've done. I've put these guys on a white paper so that way you guys can see them next to each other. They are the exact same color. So the lenses are not what makes it darker than the other for the uh, SAE version. Uh, if you can focus here, the SAE one has little tiny words on the very bottom that says SAE, which the camera cannot focus um, just because it's almost translucent. So it's from where I'm standing right now, you can't even see that. But this one here is the SAE version. Okay. So coming back to the actual squadrons, as you can see here, the top one is the Sport, the bottom one is the SAE. So right off the bat, you can tell there is a big difference. This one has little 
um, I don't know what to call these um, cones, I guess. We can call them cones. Um, that's just sit right on top of the LEDs. And then uh, over here, we got a shield, okay, that comes off. And then it has little tiny projectors, kind of like on our headlights. So they do have little lenses in them. That's pretty cool. So on the Sport, when you take these off, all that's left is the board itself that the LEDs sit in. As you can see there, there's one, two, three, four LEDs. Um, and I don't know if I could try to zoom in. So right there, it says Squadron Sport, okay? And as you can see, the chips, the LED chips itself right there. And then for the SAE versions, they have these little projectors like I just mentioned. But if you zoom in here, these are also Squadron Sports. So these boards are exactly the same. So as you can see, these two have very, very minimal differences. Of course, these little projectors um, instead of the cones that are on the sports. So that's what makes them different. And of course, the shield here, I forgot to mention, this shield, um, as you can see, they have more of like a, a square cutout in them. What that does is that when you install these onto your vehicle, the light from the projectors will only be focused in the middle and they will not be shooting any light above or below. That way light isn't just shooting everywhere like on the Sport. So on the Sport, when you are off-road, it is really nice to have light shoot everywhere and light up as much as you can. But with the SAE version, the projectors aim the, the light in a certain direction and then these little this little shield here um, actually creates more of a uh, direct focus point where it's aiming only on the road and not everywhere like on the sport so we're gonna go ahead and assemble these back together um i will or i already did install a sport on the passenger side of my truck and then i have the sae version on the driver's side so um i'm gonna take uh the truck for a drive and we're gonna drive through a, a snowstorm um, we are expecting one pretty soon here so I'm gonna wait a couple days till we get that storm um, show you guys the difference between them um, as for right now I'm gonna go ahead and clean all this up jump back to the front and show you guys what they look like during the daytime alrighty so here we got the sport um, with a wide lens of course because we're comparing it with the SAE fog lights and over here we have the squadrons SAE and uh, as you can remember um, the lenses looks a little bit darker because of that black shield that it has there we're gonna go ahead and turn the truck on and show you guys what it looks like Okay, first we got the Sport. As you can tell, it's pretty damn bright. And then the Squadrons. A little less bright, obviously, because of that projector and the shield. But from this angle, you can kind of see the little rectangle that that shield creates to uh, direct the light in a straight pattern that way you're not blinding on coming traffic of course this is also aimed down slightly um, and then over here light is just literally shooting in every direction so this light makes it super nice when you are on or off-road this is the dead center of it as you could tell 
the sport is brighter um, obviously for the reasons that we showed you but this is the street version or the street legal version all right so here is the headlights um, alone um, these are the custom 54 AB6 headlights these headlights are um, HIDs um, as far as the low beam um, I mean obviously the high beam as well so that's the high beam there um, but this here is the uh, fog lights again driver's side is the SAV version passenger side is the sport just throw on my seatbelt real quick all right let's go ahead and uh, get going the snow hopefully won't die down too much we can still see the uh, the use of the fog lights um, I was getting a lot of people asking me if the SAE versions are worth it and personally I would say yes and the reason being is because you can use them on road um, on our most recent trip out to uh, Moab um, we were caught in a snowstorm that took us 12 hours to get to uh, Moab which normally would take only six hours um, and it was just all snow all the snow was coming straight at us um, kind of like how it is now but it was just more intense um, but here it is um, I'm gonna flip the fog lights off real quick this is just the headlights I'm not sure if you can see the snow flying towards us or not but um, I'm gonna go ahead and flip them back on so they are super useful and you can see um, onto the sides you can see there the sport is definitely um, a little more usable because it goes all the way out to the sides but remember the sport is not street legal so you cannot use them um, on the on road so you can only use them when you are off-road so uh, yeah so that's why um, we decided to get a set of the SAE versions to put on and use as the stock um, switch on the uh, next to your steering wheel so we have um, the SAE ones where we're going to be using them all the time um, after this testing I'm going to go ahead and take off the sport that is on the passenger side and go ahead and put the other SAE on that way I can use them anytime I'm on uh, on road and then I also have the XL80 um, which is the really big ones those are definitely not street legal so those are going to be my off-road use uh, fog lights um, and of course you can use them with the SAE versions off-road as well um, but it is nice to have something on road something like in this situation uh, where it is snowing and you do need to see you know below you um, pretty much the street a lot of people don't understand the uh, fog lights are not meant for uh, you know to see far it is not a driving light like your headlights are so with that being said I was getting a couple people commenting and saying that the SAE versions are not bright the output was extremely weak um, and I completely understand because they are used to the sport or the pro um, which is why they aren't bright but again you have to realize they are street legal versions and fog lights what their intentions or what their uh, intended um, use is to see to allow you to see the road when conditions like snow fog um, or any kind of uh, weather conditions that you know doesn't allow you to see a very far distance so what the fog lights do is they shoot lights uh, shoot light directly onto the road where you can see the road in front of you so that way you can still you know drive straight and you can make sure that you on you are on the road and not just driving you know blindly 
Um, I know myself, I have personally have uh, done that um, where, you know, when I'm just using my headlights and the snow or the fog is so thick that I cannot see where I'm going. So I'm just kind of driving straight or following the car in front of me. But if you were, you know, driving on a back road where um, I am right now and there's no cars in front of you and the snow is really bad, then obviously you can't, you know, um, just follow somebody. And then of course, the reason why um, I like amber is because it cuts through like weather conditions really well. Um, as you can see, you can see the road really well compared to white white it's it's great for for like seeing far but amber is definitely the way to go if you want to see a lot of the road um, and I do have a light bar on top which I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys now um, this here is definitely definitely a no-no when you are driving because as you can see the light um, in front of us is just hitting the snow that's coming directly at us so this is absolutely horrible and this is why you don't use a um, a fog light that is meant for driving or a driving light so I'm gonna shut that off real quick so there so this here is the reason why fog lights are fog lights out real quick. All right. So here you will see the SAE version. Super bright still. This is the Sport. Even brighter. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I hope this video was helpful. And uh, if you guys are planning on getting some of these um, and planning on using them on road, the SAE version is the only one you can actually use on road legally. So there's really no comparison as to which one you are deciding on. Um, I personally love using my fog lights on road. So having the SAE versions on my truck is a definite must. And as you guys saw in the video, we do have the XL80, the really big ones. Um, that's what we use off-road and as well as our light bar that we have up there. So it is nice to have multiple fog lights um, for on and off-road use. Um, but yeah, that is it for this video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.